welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green said Psychic Medium. So I just want to welcome everybody to the show today um, and happy Memorial Day to those who celebrate. I am going to be doing a little bit of PSA, just a little bit. Um, first and foremost, I will never reach out to anybody and tell them they need anything, want anything, not on social media, not not any place ever. Uh, so if somebody is reaching out to you, please reach out to me. First of all, report them. And then second, reach out to me and let me know so I can also report them. Um, next, if you'd like to ask a question about love, life, career, finances, any aspect of your world at all, or connect with a loved one on the other side. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. And you can call in, ask any questions, and or connect with loved ones on the other side. Um, uh, you can also join us live on YouTube and join the chat and ask questions there, which is a lot of fun all the time. I want to say hi to Kate, Fawn, hey, Heather, um, Anne is here, Sal is here, and of course, Mimi's here. Um, I want to also, I, I never do a very good job at promoting myself, never, ever. Uh, but I am a psychic medium. I've been a psychic medium for as long as I can remember. Um, as a child, you know, those things that go bump in the night, I would basically talk to them. So yeah, there's that. Um, I think that's funny. I don't know why I think everything's funny. Um, and I also am a hypnotist and a heal. I do healing work also. I don't do it, the angels do it, but you know what I mean. And then I um, am the author of seven books. One of them I have right here, What If? A Transformational Journey. Um, all of my books have been channeled. So there are two books of poems that I adore. I just love the poems. Um, some of the poems I can't even get through. I like, they make me break down, like seriously, they do. Um, and all of the books are available on Amazon. I prefer you use the link in my, if you go to my bio, there's a solo.to.tony green, whatever, and it'll take you right to my author page and you can, um, Look at the books that I have and um, see if any of them are right for you. But this book is so awesome because it's this cover is super dirty. It's super loved. And I'm always um, holding this book for some reason. It's not a like these are not when you look at this book, you might think, oh, that's a lot to read. It's really not. The way this book works is... Um, it's to open up your understanding of yourself and the world and the people around you, basically. So each page has a question. And then after each question, there's space to dun, 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 write your answer. Now, I always tell everybody on your first go through, don't, don't write in the book. Use a, a different book because by the second and or third time that you go through this book, your answers will be completely different. But this is an amazing book to go through with your partner, with your family, with a good friend. I love this book as a group book, especially with people that you care about, because it'll open up your understanding of each other and and again, your world. So the page I just opened up to to tell you guys about it says, um, oopsie, that's not. Let's not pull that over. Um, uh, <clears throat> okay, this one is the question. The question here, and I'm gonna say it, and hopefully everybody will understand it. What if how you treat others is how you treat that spark of God within them? Okay, so you can see where that might 
make you sit and ponder for a second. Let's all ponder. Now, everybody has a spark, our soul. We all call it something different. Our soul, our spark, our higher self. But it's that connection to the all that is, the universe, um, whatever it is. So how you're treating another person is really how you're treating their God center or soul and then the all that is God. And if you don't like the word God, that's okay. Just replace that word with whatever is comfortable for you and go from there. So that's the first question. I'm going to just do one more. Say when. When? Okay. <laughs> Oh, we're not going to do that one. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is a good one. It's probably, this one is totally probably meant for me too. What if you stop escaping uh, TV, games, computer, etc., and start living? <laughs> I think that one's for me. Okay. <laughs> so that's it. What if? A transformational journey. Um, that's the book. Um, there are six more books, and I'm working on number eight, which I'm very excited about. It's very different than these books. It is, it's extremely different than these books. It is very um it's good, it, but it's still, I think it's good, and it's all channeled, so there's that also. Oh, okay. I uh, hate Jessica. Hey Mares. Um, I'm going to get started. I'm going to start today with callers and then go back and forth between, um, callers and questions online. So please be patient, everybody. And here we go. Three, four, seven. What's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, hi, Tony. This is Katie. How are you? Hey, Katie. I'm doing well. Where are you calling from, love? New York. Okay. How can I help you, love? Um, I am moving, and um, I moved you to North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, and I, um, I'm trying to, I went to see some places, and I'm trying to narrow down the area or the, because I've seen a lot of places. So I'm trying to figure out, so there's an area called like Uptown, South End, and uh, University, but that's like further out. And I wanted to get guidance, like Uptown and South End is the city. Um, I wanted to get guidance about the area and if my guides feel I actually saw the place that's good for me already. Like, did I actually see that place yet? Okay, so the first thing I hear, and I'm going to try to do this quickly so I don't forget, um, South, the one that says South, that's the one I got the yes on. And then, yes, when you asked, did I actually see the place yet? I feel like you did, if not the exact place, something very close to it. But when you said, did I see the place yet? I, I did receive a yes right away on that. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I've I seen some in Uptown, and I've seen some in um, South, and um, but it's just all these particulars with, um, like, one place. I really liked it, and they said, well, I said, well, what about the deposit? And she says, oh, we don't do a deposit. If a deposit is required, then we just make you pay either $500 or one month's rent, and you don't get that money back. I'm like, I've never heard of this. <laughs> like, like, I'm like, I've never heard of these practices. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the thing. Every state has their own set of rules that they are allowed mm -hmm. to do. And they're very different. And I know now with renting, it is crazy. Some places are requiring two mm -hmm. months advance and last month. Like you're having to show up with like four months worth of rent in some areas and then write an essay. What? <laughs> an essay? You have to write why you want the place. Well, because I don't want to be homeless. <laughs> Let's start there. <laughs> like seriously, I'm like, when I'm hearing these stories, like 
of how people are and the rents have gone like yeah. a little crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that's, yeah. yeah, they are. And that is yeah. very, okay. what I'm, what I'm actually telling people, and I know this would not apply to you, but for, for me and my friends and some other people who come in, like some of my clients, I'm saying, listen, if you have a good core group of friends or family and you, let's say you're single girls or whatever the case may be, even two families, and you you can't or don't want to do a house on your own, get a side-by-side, -side, a duplex or a fourplex together. And then all of you live in that. Um, that is going to be the next wave of purchasing, not purchase, purchasing for people because it's, when I'm looking online, these prices are ridiculous. I know they're going to fall out eventually, mm -hmm, but that, that point is not happening yet. And um, so when we're looking at it, we have to just come up with a system where if we really don't want to pay these high rents and have them keep raising them every month, we need to get with a, a somebody we trust and get a shared like not a roommate situation, but like a side by side or a duplex or something like that and go that route. But for you right now, the, the place I hear is South. And yes, you did see the place. Um, don't worry about the, the policies that the the policies that they're using. Uh, that's what's just normal for them. Okay, love. And I hear also the last yeah, thing I'm so hearing about? is the sooner the better. The sooner the better. Do this. Okay. What? Like secure it, get it, yeah. move sooner rather than later. And what about the uptown area? They didn't say anything. Like you didn't they get said up. no. It was more south. Don't end. don't do uptown. Don't. I'm just hearing no on uptown. I when you asked all three okay. areas, the only one I had a yeah. yes on was yeah. the south. And I know sometimes we really we think we want to be in this area, but here's what I'm going to tell you. And sometimes we we don't realize and this is for you specifically, what all that area entails and mm -hmm. what it's really like, mm -hmm. for example, at night or yeah. what we're getting ourselves into yeah. more yeah. or less. Yeah. So when I hear a yes, what they're saying is your energy will be a good match mm -hmm. to this particular yeah. energy, plus it'll be the safest and that, that I didn't think that's what I was yeah. going to say, but that's what just rolled up off my tongue and blew out my mouth. It will be the safest area for you at this time and point. And once you get there, you're going to see and understand why this was the best choice. Now, I will typically tell people the further out you can move at this point, the better off you're going to be um, in the long run. In the long run, we are not going to want right. to be near cities. We're not going to want to be in the city, and we are not going to want to be near cities. And that's going to come in in a year to two years where we're really going to have to really try to be a little further out. Um, I don't know what that I, – I, I know there's like – I think urban is city and then suburban is outside of city. But the next one outside of that, whatever that's called, that's the goal. That's the goal. Get in, get a, as as far out of the suburban areas, but still practical for getting to and from places. That's going to be the goal within a year to two years for everyone. Okay. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. My pleasure. I hope this was, was helpful. Yeah. And if you do have other questions that pop up, um, like you're between three places that you're looking at, please don't hesitate to give me a call back. Okay, love? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. You are welcome. You are so welcome.
Okay, you guys, I want to do a couple of names from the other side um, that are here. And I think I just did 347 and 860 is next. But if I'm wrong, I apologize. Yeah, 860 is next. Okay, a couple names from the other side. Um, a couple of names that I'm hearing from the other side. Remember, this could be your name. This could be your loved one's name or your child's name, um, whomever they're speaking to, or they might be giving their name. Joe, Joe is the first name that comes through. And then I hear Giuseppe. Now I know Joe is, I think Joe and Giuseppe are the same thing, but I hear Joe and then I hear Giuseppe. And so those are the first one or two names that are coming through. And then the next name I'm hearing coming through, well, it's, it's, it's the song. Her name was Lola. She was a showgirl. She wore her something and a something in her hair. <laughs> she did the cha-cha. I don't even know. <laughs> well, if you know the song, you know the song. That's all I can say. And that song is coming through for someone. So if that song means something to you or somebody on the other side, that's for you. And it can be for more than one person. Please know that. And then I'm seeing, um, oh, this breaks my heart. I'm seeing a little bean, a little baby in a, um, in like a crib or cradle. So there's a baby on the other side, letting you know that they're, they're still with you in spirit. They're still, um, with you. Oh, and then the name that's coming through. Okay. Maria, Maria's coming through. And then I hear that song, Maria, Maria, um, by, um, Carlos Santana and then the name they weren't gonna that that whatever whoever that is for just so you know they were very persistent and were not gonna let me move on until I said that name and then the other I think okay um I can't I don't know that I can say this name they're trying to spell it out for me um It is, um, well, I'm just going to tell you who's, who's saying the name. Um, it's a, it's a man who is, uh, African or black and has, he's thin. He probably was a father and or grandfather to somebody listening. And he had lost weight near the end. Uh, he seems like he had shrunken down. Now, the way they show me they lost weight at the end is they're usually wearing clothes that are a little bit baggy on them. And so he is here and he is um, he is saying th whomever this is for, there's somebody involved in this situation whose name is Keisha and I have goosebumps. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I have goosebumps everywhere. There's somebody involved in this situation and or or somebody else not involved in the situation, but somebody else whose name may have been Keisha. And then, because I can say that name, I just can't get the A name, right? Um, is it Antoinette? I don't know. I don't want to say a name because I might be wrong. But whoever that's for, that was that that took a little longer than I thought. And I apologize. I really do apologize. And then there's a Martha up here, a Martha up here that is saying, uh, you just you let them know I love them now. You let them know I love them now <laughs> and always has always loved you, not just now, always. Um, and then um the last Viola. I couldn't even finish saying my sentence. It just flew out of my mouth. Viola is also here. So those are the names of the people coming through today or, or the people that they want to connect with. Another song for today is um, working on the... I don't know if this song... I don't... I don't... Don't... Please don't be offended by the song. It's just a song. And I know that it might be... Um, whatever, but I, I think it's working on the, I can't, I, I can't even get all the words for it, but 
Um, it's for the people who used to put the train tracks together. I think that's what this song is for, working on the chain gang. And they are showing like, they're showing people with those big um, things that would hammer the spikes in or slam the spikes in to the, the, the things for the tra train tracks, man, I sound so like, I don't even know what I'm talking about, I, but you, you guys, if, if it's for you, you're going to know exactly what that is. So, so I, apparently somebody who worked on the train tracks is bringing that through for you. Holy cow. <laughs> Today, these, these names and these songs. And then, um, and then, okay, and then the, the last song I'm going to do is um, They Are Bringing Me Things I Don't Even Know Today. Sometimes I know the songs and I know the people. I can get the names in the songs. Um, I just hear the name Marshmallow for the last song. I think maybe that's a group. Maybe it's a song. Um, oh, I get this one. Okay. Um, and then they're just using the statement. I don't know if this is a statement from the song or this is for, this is definitely from, it's a message from someone on the other side. Um, I was so high. I was so high and I'm not singing it to the beat of the song. It's somebody who OD'd on the other side that's coming through. It's a male and he was very thin and Caucasian or white, and um, he had lost a, a lot of muscle and stuff due to the, the drugs. And um, the song that's, not the song, but the, the that that's the person who's trying to come through. Okay. Holy cow. Let's move on, folks. Let's move on. I'm going to go to 860. 860, what's your name? first name and where are you calling from? Hi, um, hi to me. It's Amla. <laughs> hey, Amla, what's going on? Hi. Uh, okay, so a lot has changed in um, very fast pace, maybe because of Gemini stuff going on. But I just was wondering... Um, I just feel, I don't know, I feel ready for a relationship and I don't know what uh, they're, uh, what are they called? Detour people are popping up. Um, just wondering when you feel somebody significant coming in. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do first, and it's really important. Um, I don't want to ask her that question. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's nice that I argue with spirit out loud. I tell people, don't argue, don't argue with me. Argue if you don't like the answer, go to spirit. But here I am going, I don't want to say it. And they're saying, just say it. Okay, so Amla, there's something in you that's not quite ready yet. And I know what it is. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to blatantly say it. But what I am going to do is um, anything stopping or blocking Amla or anybody else listening and watching from a healthy, loving relationship has cleared, I get a no. All that caused this and kept this has cleared and released, I get a no. And um, well, one of the things I'm getting is um, uh, I'm getting like a hundred different things right now for you. And one of the things is we have to be... <sighs> We have to be in a position where we don't care if we want to re if we're in a relationship or not. We don't we can't we we don't care if it's here. We don't care if we have it. We're we're and not because we're bitter. Not like I don't ever want another blah 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 in my life again. They can all go, you know, blah blah blah. We can't not that. That's not what they're talking about. We have to be in that position where we're like, my life is so good. My life is so full. I'm so good. If somebody comes in great, but they better be bringing like, they better be the cherry on the top. Not like my life feels incomplete without this person because we all go through a phase where we are given, given, given the opportunity to be 
um, whole on our own. And that's what our single time is for. So if we don't know how to be whole on our own, a partner will come in and manipulate and change our course. Yeah. And we can't have that. And we can't have that. So if you're in a relationship and you're not whole on your own, you know, your angels will come in and keep nudging you and nudging you and nudging you. And then when we're single and we're meeting what you're calling detour people, it's for uh, your angels or whomever you, they're saying to you, look, would you really settle for this? Is this what you really want? And the goal is to find somebody who just who loves you and who respects you and who wants to be with you. And they're showing you this by their actions and yeah. what they're how they're exactly. showing up for you. Now, Amla, if we as women are in the position where we're taking the first steps, making the first steps, and I hate this term, I hate it for myself. And I, I don't like using it for anybody else. To men or our partners, it's a sign of desperation. And then they feed yeah. on that. Yeah. And so we have to be in that spot where we're like, I don't care if you're in my life or not. Like, if you want to be in my life, okay. yay. Good for you. But this is what I want. This is how you have to show up. And this is how it's going to be. And until we can get that to that spot, the right person isn't going to show up. Now, I have a friend who I think is really good at knowing what she wants and stating it. But again, for women, when it comes to men, we can get really confused between the brownie with hot fudge and ice cream, right? That looks yeah. really good and probably tastes good for a minute, but then we regret it for the next five years while we're trying to work it off, right? And right. the really good guy. Now, the good guy can be a brownie with hot fudge and ice cream, um, but we can't just go at the... the um, Whatever I don't know where I, where I was going with that, but I think everybody else knows where I was going at that. <laughs> I think everybody else gets it. So what I'm gonna say is, Amla, no, yeah. when when you're in that space of I, being, I do. what? Yes, go ahead. Sorry. Oh no, just when when you're in that space of not wondering when the person is coming in, not caring when the person is coming in, you are going to have that big epiphany of you giving you everything you want and need and being full within yourself with with yourself right okay I am going to say one other thing and this is on relationships and I know a lot of people will not appreciate this and that's okay um it doesn't go for everyone if if you're a person this applies to hopefully it will help you everything I say is to help people. Okay. So, so, and it, it comes through me from spirit. So there's that too. One of the things is when we're looking for someone to save us, we often get somebody we need to save. When we're looking for someone to take care of us, believe me, there is a, if we're getting like, I'm going to use a, two examples here um, from the extreme of the sugar daddy type of thing to the, just like, you know, uh, marry me and like take care of everything so I don't have to. There's a, there, we end up in a situation, we can end up in a situation where we're giving out more or we're putting up with things we would never put up with for so called security. Okay. Now, when we're yeah. in that space, when we have saved ourselves, when we have come full circle, when we, and this one is for you, Amla. You know who you are, but you don't believe who you are. On the surface, okay. now let me explain this for you and okay. every other person listening right now, because this is gold nuggets falling from the sky for everybody. I know I am A, B, and C, and these are my titles. 
Okay, I know I'm an author. So Amla, you know you're an author. You know this, you know that. But you don't believe deep down inside of your value, worth, whatever it is. And it could be one of a million different things. You don't believe deep inside of that. You don't believe that's who you are. And most people don't. And that's okay. I mean, we will see... Um, we will see doctors and lawyers that fall on their title and 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 uh, just of any field, actors, whomever it is, and they fall on their title um, of what they do, and they because they we are in this space in this time of this is what I do that makes me relevant. We don't look at who I really am. So, you know what, I, I agree to an extent, but I really, I do want to say something in the sense of it really quickly. Um, my past has been like that. And I, because, because of my outside circumstances, in my personal case of facing vision loss, I've only had no, I had no choice but to look inside. And now right. I finally believe in my, so it's like the, the past guy that I was interested in, he was like, very close to what I'm looking for, but it wasn't reciprocated. He was kind and generous and nurturing and everything that I've been looking for, right? That's what was so, so confusing. But I understand now what I deserve, which is I deserve a person who values me as a person. And that's what he did for me. And we actually are friends now. But I mean, I needed to go through that to figure out, to say, you know what? You do deserve a caring supportive person and and he was like that from a to z even when he dropped me off after i asked him i actually um shared how i felt for him he was the same person that shows me everything tells me everything he's worth i'd be a fool to let him go as a friend so that's what universe was actually showing me and i was so i'm so i'm so grateful for that so super grateful because I, I know who I am now and I believe in who I am. And it, the universe is actually reflecting that towards me. It's just not necessarily the right person, which I respect that. Right. I mean, I respect him for sharing his truth. Right. It's now time for me to move on. So that's, that's where okay, I'm at. So Amla, if you, okay. So here's, I, and I need to get to the next person because this is um, taking actually a little longer than I thought. And here's what I'm going to say to you. If you understand that this person showed up and they're, they're kind and they're loving and they're not the person and um, you want to keep them as a friend, that's great. But if you're saying to me, and I'm just going to confirm what I said, that you were giving or whatever term you used more you were, he wasn't reciprocating right there. The moment that that happens for you, when you're in that place of self value and self worth, and I know that you corrected it, but that when you're in that place, those people don't show up. When you're in that place of true knowing it, you literally look different, your energy is different, and our energy. I'm, I'm just going to say this, and I'm sorry if somebody disagrees, that's okay. I don't mind if people disagree. Your energy pulls in a match of what you need to heal, what you need to see, or once you're there, who you are. So, and I'm going to say this, and I, I'm... I'm going to say that when we lead with what we think our downfall or our, it's not your downfall, but when we lead with our, our uh, I don't want to use any of these words because um, our justifier, uh, for lack of a, a kinder word, um, we're going to also get somebody who has a justifier. So for women and men, it can be different. And what I'm going to say is, and I know this is going to be so sensitive to some people and I apologize, but oftentimes we show up and we say what we think is our handicap, what's wrong, what, what we've been through. 
instead of how strong we are and where we are and what is good. So if we are still in that space of this, then who shows up is going to have some, it won't be the exact same thing, but it will be something. It will be something. So if we think we're lacking, we will find somebody else who is lacking, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, we have to like be in that space where we are whole, regardless of what's going on, regardless of what's going on. It is not a, I don't know, I don't know the right word to, to say, and I hope everybody understands that. I, I hope everybody understands that. And it wasn't too, in the way I said it was not insensitive because I don't mean it in, in any way as um, in an insensitive way. Okay, I'm going to go to the chat and answer some questions. Yeah, uh, Jay Francis, I do believe that is, um, that is uh, Barry Manilow with uh, her name. Her name was Lola. Um, Angie. Hey, Angie. Hey, Tony, may I please get your insight into my future husband? Thank you. Okay, Angie. Um, if you're still here, make a comment because I don't answer unless people hang around. Uh, oh my God, Kate. His name was Rico. <laughs> yes. I had even forgotten the second verse. Oh my goodness. Yes, working on the coal mine, going on. Yeah, that's the second song. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I love the people on YouTube. They will definitely come through with those songs that I'm having trouble with. Um, thank you, Heather. Yes, everybody listen to Heather. Disagreeing with spirit doesn't work. Yeah, it does not work at all. Not doing what they want doesn't work either. They will they will push you into it for real, for real. Um, <laughs> Jay Francis says, anytime I disagree with spirit, I just get more of the same. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, that is. Uh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay, Angie, you're still here. Okay, Angie, for you, the first thing I'm hearing, Angie, is be open to how you feel um, relationship dynamics work or titles in relationships, okay? Don't be focused on, and I know you're not, and I'm going to explain this, don't be focused on um, getting married because sometimes we will get a person and then maybe overlook some things. And there's, this message is specific for you, Angie. So please pay attention here. Overlook some things because we're so in that place where we just want to really get into that place where we are getting married. So we find a guy who's willing to do the same thing. For some reason, they're saying that to you. Be more in alignment with a good union, a good partner. And I'm going to say this again, and I know I say it very often. And what I'm going to say is look at this person as though you own a business and you're bringing them in as a business partner. And then would you allow them like the keys to your bank, uh, the keys to your building, the the uh, codes to your bank account um, as in a business sense? Because a lot of us are you know, excuse the, excuse the way this is coming out. A lot of us are allowing people to enter our private business when we wouldn't even let them drive our car by themselves to the grocery store and pack <laughs> because we wouldn't be sure how they would treat our vehicle. And that just says everything right there that we need to say. <laughs> And I know, yes, I do. I'm sorry if that was a little bit much. Um, so Angie, the bigger thing I want to say here is you have the potential to meet somebody in June. It's not your final person. It's, um, it's a person you're going to learn and grow with. And then in August, someone else is going to come in and this person will be... Um, Somebody again uh, that you will 
this person will be signif a significant person in your life. Now, when they say a significant person in your life, you can take this as far as you'd like it to go um, in this relationship. It doesn't have to go. It, it, if things go well, you can take it to that point. The person you meet in August, not the person you meet in June. Um, the person you meet in June is to... It's like sometimes we get that test person because we say, I'm ready. I'm not putting up with this or that or the other thing anymore. And then fear goes, really? Let's see. Here's one. He looks really yummy. He's that brownie with hot fudge and ice cream. Are you going to put up with it? Because he's so cute or he knows the right things to say or he makes the right amount of money or whatever it is. And then we have to make that choice. Uh, you pass the looks or this test, but do you pass the rest of the tests on how you treat me and what we do? Okay. Uh, so uh, June is uh, learning and growing. And uh, no, I said no to this. I'm, I said no, I mean no. It's a complete sentence sort of thing going on. But in August, you have the possibility of this man come or this person partner coming in who is who could end up being the whole package for you. Um, somebody who is going to be a very significant person in your life. So again, the June person, don't waste, don't, you know what? Interview, whenever we date, we should be interviewing these people like we're hiring them to, to for a business so that we can get, like know sooner rather than later if this is what we want. It's not about what they want. It's also about what we want. And then in August, this other person is gonna come in. And I know that was a really long answer. I hope you understood it, Angie. Um, when this person comes in in August, go slow. I don't care if I said, this is gonna be your forever after person. That doesn't mean rush to the finish line. That means you still take time and learn things about this person and figure out how you two work together best. Because sometimes once we skip some of those steps and then we're in, in, we can't, we lose our negotiating power <laughs> for whatever that means for everybody. Okay. So I hope, I hope that's helpful, Angie. I really do. I hope that's good for you. Uh, hey, Fawn, uh, everybody in the chat is talking and I'm trying to keep up with their messages and I love it. Um, I'm going to go to 757757. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, my name is Kate. I'm calling from Illinois. How can I help you, beautiful? I, I was calling to see what you see for me in terms of relationship. Okay. I'm going to ask a quick question here just so I don't have to play in as much energy. Is she single right now? Are you single right now, love? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Do you have somebody that tries to dip in and out of your life? Because when I ask if you're single, I get yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, which tells me either somebody is like a boomerang thing. <laughs> you throw them out, they come right back. You throw them out, they come right back. Or um, you're, you're meeting people and it's not the right people. So you're single, you're not, you're single, you're not. Um, it does that fit for you? Because I'm sorry. That person has been that person has been blocked. Oh, I love There's it. No <laughs> Yay, good girl. Keep it blocked. Keep it blocked. Do not let that person back in because they will find another way to come back in. Trust me, they are going to try to find another way to get back in. Okay, love. They've, they've tried multiple ways. Um, um, every account that I have, I would want to do that. I deactivate the account. Uh, like, I don't want no communication at all. Okay. So, Good uh, for you. Uh, it's, yeah. Yeah. Like, any account, he's been trying to get through any account as possible. I deactivate any account. Yeah. And so, so let's, no contact. There's no way. I'm really proud. I'm very, very proud of you for doing that and be strong because he's going to find another way to show up. Like, 
I feel like in like I pray not. Uh, yeah, let's hope not I because pray not. Yes, but let's talk about what's coming in because that's more important. Okay, and the more important thing mm -hmm. is somebody's mm -hmm. coming in. I feel like the potential for somebody to come in for you. I hear July and August. So one July, August, somebody's coming in. It might be near the end of July into August. It's a brand new person. You do not know this person. You have never met this person. They are going to come in and they are going to, um, they are going to want to actually have like a dick like go out on dates and go to places with you and do things with you. They're going to want to have a, 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 a more of a normal or an old school relationship. It's not going to be the let's Netflix and chill sort of thing. It's going to be like, Hey, let's go to, let's go to dinner. Let's go see this movie. Let's go to jazz in the park, whatever it is. That I'm not saying it's those things exactly, but they're going to want to get up and go out. They have a zest for life. They really like to do things. Um, you are going to need to be in that space of being ready for that type of relationship, like transitioning back into the whole actually going out and doing things with this person. And I don't feel like this is a beginning of the relationship thing. I think this person likes to just be out and about. I do feel like this person, whomever it is, might like to dance um, and want want to go and do that every once in a while. Even if it's like, like later on after a while, like even just doing it in the living room, like sort of thing. I feel like this person will just want to like, you know, get up and dance if a good song comes on of whatever that means for you. I do also feel like you're going to be a little bit hesitant when this person comes in. You're going to be looking for the red flags. Always look for the red flags because in the beginning of a relationship, you know, you earn your credit just like everything else in life. You earn your credit. Once you've earned that credit though, we allow you we, we can feel safe in it. I do feel like you're going to be looking for red flags. Um, don't create them is what I'm hearing. Don't create red flags. Don't create okay. like things. Um, you're going to feel like this guy is a little too, uh, you might be, <coughs> excuse me, you might be nervous that this guy is a little too he goes out a bit and you're going to wonder if he is um, out there too much is the way I'm going to say that. Okay. Excuse me for a minute. I have a little. Uh -huh. <clears throat> In my smoothie, I put kiwi. So one of the little seeds is a little <clears throat> caught in there someplace. So, um, and the other thing that I'm getting is this guy is, he is a loyal person when he considers himself in a relationship. So know, okay. like, know that, but also know when you are in that relationship and when you're in the dating stage. Because some women are loyal from the, the moment, like, we decide this could be a good person to the end. And even in the dating stage and other people might be just dating, not necessarily getting, you know, uh, getting down with or getting, you know, uh, having sex with other people, but they might be still dating other people and talking to other people. Have that conversation about like, hey, when when we're monogamous, we're, mon you know, not not like that, but um, like a. a, a just have that conversation uh, when the time, not on the first date, but when it's appropriate about if there, if you're still dating other people and just say, listen, and here's one statement that really, I know not all people are honest, male and female, but one statement that really works is, uh, listen, I really, I, I like you. I like where this is going, but I don't get intimate until I know for a fact we are monogamous. Okay. Okay. And don't be afraid mm -hmm. to say that. Don't, 
and 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 go from there. Um, so okay. that's that's what I'm getting for you and this person, July, August. I feel like you will meet them at an outside event. You're going to meet them naturally and organically. An outside event can be anything from a farmer's market to, um, again, I don't know why they keep saying like music in the park or something like that. Okay. Okay. All right, sweetie. Okay, I thank you so much. You are so welcome. I hope that was really helpful for you. That, that was. I just don't want the other guys showing up. Uh, I'm sorry. I just don't want the other guys showing up. I don't know what else to do. I feel like filing a police report on him. I'm just tired. Yeah, if he does show up, um, all you can do is just, you know, I. Uh, uh, the best is just ignore, do not respond in any way. Um, and my no, favorite, and I'm going to say this, if somebody shows up face to face uh, from the past and you are not wanting to see them, just say, excuse me, I need to use the restroom and go into the restroom and like, you know, phone a friend or do whatever you need to do at that point and uh, go from there. That's that's my my walk away point is I need to use the restroom and uh, get into a place where they can't go into. OK, sweetie. OK, thank you so much. You are so, so welcome. You have an amazing day. If you'd like to ask a question over the phone, the number is 845-277. 9131. You can also ask a question in the group chat on YouTube. Jay Francis says, um, some, oh yeah, nope, that's not a question. Uh, hey Kavita, how are you? Uh, Kavita wants to know if there's anything significant happening for me this summer. Thank you. Yes. So Kavita, I know you get a lot of readings um, and talk to a lot of people and you've had um, readings that have um, said when somebody's supposed to be coming in and timelines can be off a little bit and it can be February, but we don't know what year. I mean, it's crazy. I'm just saying. Um, I'm going to tell you that I'm hearing something. I don't know if this is for you or a friend, but what I'm hearing is there's an engagement that's about to happen or an engagement is going to come in this fall. Kavita, I'm not saying that's for you, but I am saying this, Kav, Kav, this, this, <laughs> Kavita, this engagement will be important to you, but it might not be your engagement. We're going to have to wait and see. And if it were your engagement, they may tell you, but they may not want to ruin the surprise. I am getting that the engagement is significant and it is, um, it might be somebody you care about rather than yourself. So that's what, what's going to come in for you. I feel like it's more around fall than summer, but you're, that is the big, big event that you have to look forward to all things going well. I believe that that is going to come in for you. Um, I'm going to go to nine, four, nine, five, four, nine, five, four. What's your name? And where are you calling from? Uh, this is Mary. I'm calling from Florida. Okay, Mary. Hi, thank Hello? you so much for calling in. How can I help you today? Um, I just wanted to see, um, I have an ongoing health condition that I've been um, getting tested and seeing a lot of specialists. I'm wondering if you see some resolution coming for me regarding this manner and um, some better assistance that I've been getting for answers. Um, okay, for the sake of the show and everybody who's listening and not getting reported, I have to say I'm not I'm not a medical person. I'm not a doctor. 
Uh, what I am getting for you is you need to go to a different kind of doctor. Uh, if you keep going to the same type of doctor that you've been going to, you're going to keep getting the same answer. But if you go to a different type of doctor, so let I'm going to put this in two different ways. If you've been seeing a regular MD or been dealing with all ho hospital doctors, so to say, they're going to keep giving you the same answers. Mm -hmm. However, if you go to like a, a natural, a doctor of natural medicine, an herbalist, an acupuncturist, you're going to get a different answer with different results. Okay. So you have to be, okay. if you're willing to step outside of, a, I'm, I'm going to be seeing new specialists. They're not naturopaths. I'm wondering if, you're going to be able to help me or if I have to go uh, to um, more or less uh, our herbalist or Here's what I'm going to tell you. Um, uh -huh. And I'm, I'm going to say this and whatever you decide to do is up to you. And I, I'm not the boss of anyone. Okay. When I become the boss of my very sure. own bladder, I will try to be the boss of something else, but I'm the boss of nothing at this point. So what I'm going to tell you is that I know, right? Every woman, every woman feels that pain. I'm just saying, um, what I'm going to say to you is when, when we're in certain establishments, they run test after test, after test, after test, and eventually they might come to a conclusion and a medication that works best for, for them or what, what they can give you. If you step outside of that establishment, and I, I don't care if you're seeing a natural doctor and then and you're not getting the proper answer, step into an acupuncturist, step into a, whatever it is, step into a, dip. If, if you're not getting this answer that you need, consider stepping outside of that and going to a different type of resource. Now going to the specialist, there's going to be a lot more tests. I feel like you're going to have a significant number of tests before you get any stated results. And they're going to give medication that will uh, not heal you, but in, in some ways help and some ways not help. Okay, uh, we all know all medications have side effects. Okay, however, if you step outside of that, I have. A, I have if I could just say, I, I have a re referral. I've never been to a blood doctor, and I have a referral to one, and I have some other specialists to see besides my primary. Do you feel any of those will be helping me? Okay, um, sure, sure. Sure. Here's what I'm going to say for the last time. You're going to go to the specialists, take the referrals, do all the tests and get the medication. And 90 hope, seconds. Hopefully it will help. Um, when you're ready, you might want to step outside of that establishment and see if there's a way to get uh, healed from what's going on. Um, but again, I'm not the boss of you. I'm not in control. A specialist. 60 seconds. All the referrals will have you do more tests and get there. Okay. If you posted a question in the chat, please hang around. Um, please just let me know you're still here and I will answer that question after I go off air. The show has to be within 60 minutes because it does air on TV. Thank you everybody so much for being here today. I am so grateful for each and every one of you.